uh, welcome to Snooker Pro Tips. I received a personal message uh, just before Christmas uh, from a player by the name of Josh van, van Kampen. I hope I've said that right, Josh. It's either Josh or Josh. I'm taking it's Josh. Uh, regarding the distance he is actually away from the cue ball. Uh, and, and what this clip is going to do is actually show you how to put it right uh, so that you can do it, take it away, and you can decide whether you're too close or too far away so as you can just get the distance right that the bridge hand is actually away from the cue ball. Uh, and what Joss actually said uh, in his message was that he's actually uh, a little bit further away than he actually should be. Uh, by that he was saying he's roughly about three hand widths away from uh, the cue ball. Well, really you need to be a little bit closer than that. And what I'm going to explain to you now is actually do it so you can put it right uh, and so you can actually put it into your game and actually get yourself a little, maybe a little bit closer to the cue ball or a little bit further away if you're too close. Uh, and this is just a, a simple way of actually putting it right. Uh, I've done it so many times. Uh, I wish I'd got a, a pound note for every time I've actually done this with players to actually get them the right distance away. And if I had a pound note for every time I did it, I'd be a millionaire. So what I've got on the table, as you can see now, I've, I've actually got two cues on the table. This, the cue here, is mine. This is one I've had out of the rack. And what I don't want to do is have to put any marks on my cue. So I've just got this cue out of the rack, so I'll put a few marks on it. Because what you're going to have to do is just put a few marks on your cue, nothing too serious. So what you're going to need to actually do this is a pencil uh, and a piece of tape, whether it's cellar tape or a piece of electrical tape, but that's what you're going to need. Now, the important thing is now that you actually do this right, because it's a little bit technical what we're actually doing. We're actually changing things about the way you play. So you might feel when you've done it a little bit too close to the cue ball than normal or a little bit further away, but what you must do is just persevere with it. The important thing is, is that it's done right. So what I'm actually going to show you is the right way to go about it so you can do it. You can do it on your own, but if you've got somebody who can help you out, then get somebody to help you out to do it as well. So the first thing that we're actually going to do is make sure that the bridge hands the correct distance away. And this is where the pencil comes in. So the first thing to do is put the cue as close to the cue ball as you possibly can without touching it obviously and then where you need your bridge hand now is roughly say about nine inches to a foot away roughly about that sort of distance so you see now there I've got that distance so now what we do is we take the pencil and all we're going to do is just put two little lines just around the cue itself and what this is going to do now is give you the right distance each time away from the cue ball so we've gone one way, the ring, the other, so as we make sure now we get these lines on. Now because we're changing at the front, whether we've gone a little bit further away or a little bit closer, your hand position now at the back of the cue is going to change. And again, that's where the sort of technical side of it all sort of comes in. So I'll just try and put the cue where you can sort of see the lines, if we can get it up close and personal. I'm not sure where you can see the lines as they stand, you just probably make them out there, they just so on the cue, you can see I've just put two lines on there so now obviously that now is about 9 to 12 inches away which is there and now the important part, and the important part is what goes on at the back of the cue, because obviously now you're going to be stretching out slightly so now if I sort of get into the position now where I'm actually queuing up to the cue ball you can see now that this hand now has got to be pointing straight down this back leg. So you can see now that my hand now is pointing down. So all we do is now is keep the hand there. This is where the electrical tape comes in. So we now put a little piece of electrical tape just around there. So you can see now in that position I've now got a little piece of electrical tape on there. So the first job now is when we come to the table, hand on the electrical tape and then we address the cue ball. Now as I bring the camera around, so we've got the cue ball there, so now what you can actually see is if you're too far away, in this case, the mark on the cue now is actually there, and yet my bridge hand is starting there. This mark goes in the V of the bridge, by the way. So if it is now as I actually bridge there, we can see that the mark is there, too far away, and all you do then is just slide your hand up, and then you're nicely in position, in the correct position. If it is, obviously now you're too close, 
you can see now that this mark is behind the V of the bridge and then you can just bring it up nicely. So you're always going to be making sure that you're in the correct position all the time. Now the important thing to remember with that is it's going to feel very strange at first because you've actually moved yourself uh, to position the cue. You also have got to bring your feet either a little bit closer or a little bit further away. But the important thing is now that that mark there is roughly in the bridge. It hasn't got to be exactly, it be a little, you know, a shade either way. Don't be too precise with it all, but it's just giving you a rough idea. And the important thing is, is once you've set up there and you've got the mark in your bridge, don't look at it again. And then the important thing, obviously, again, is to make sure that you're holding the tape so as when you do cue off in that position, you've now got all to the tape and your arm is now going straight down your leg. And so now you're nicely in position. You've got the basic address position. And that is how to actually make sure that you get in the same position each time. Now, obviously, the, the question to be asked is what happens when you're on the cushion? Because obviously now, if we put the cue ball tight on the cushion, which obviously happens in a game of snooker, and we put that there, the mark now is actually here, so now you can't make the bridge. But again, in clips that I've done before, shortening the queue, so obviously your bridge would come to there, you would shorten up at the back end, and so now what we've got is this distance again. So you can see the distance there, distance, and the distance is the same all the time. So what you're getting is a consistency when you're actually queuing up. And that is basically what the question Yoss asked is how to get the, uh, the same consistency of queuing up to the cue ball every time. The question that some people or you, you want to know is why can't you have uh, the bridge a distance away from the cue ball? And the simple fact of it is that any movement on the back end of the cue here is exaggerated at the front of the cue. So the slightest movement at the, the back end of the cue is exaggerated at the front, thus causing you, if you do it slightly off centre, the, the, the chance is more that you're actually going to hit off centre than you would if you're a little bit closer. And that's why you try and keep the same distance each time. And the, the distance is dependent on you, so it's roughly, say, about 9 to 12 inches. So just to recap, tip to the cue ball, put your bridge in first, so you're roughly about 9 to 12 inches away. Take the pencil, two little marks, and only use a pencil. Don't use a biro or a marker pen, a magic marker type pen or burn it or put anything on there make sure, because pencil will just rub off so eventually once you do get used to doing it you don't want to have any permanent marks on your cue so that you're actually damaging your cue and again that's the reason we put the, the, the tape on the end of it because you can just peel the tape off once you're done and it's as simple as that so just to recap tip to the cue bridge goes in pencil little mark around that you can put one mark around if you like but I always put two on the, the, the players that I'm actually coaching uh, and explaining it to. And then once you've done that, quick look behind to make sure that your arm is pointing straight down your standing leg, bit of tape on the other end, and away you go. Uh, and that is the simple way of making sure that you're the same distance away from the cue ball each time. Uh, I hope you found it interesting, and I hope that Yoss isn't the only one out there with this problem. There's going to be hundreds and thousands of players out there who do the same thing over and over again. So hopefully this uh, will help to, to sort it out uh, as best as it can be. Uh, it's been Snooker Pro Tips. Thank you for listening. Thank you for watching. Uh, if you've enjoyed the clip, I hope you leave the, uh, as many comments as you can. Uh, again, please try and get in touch with me to send messages, whatever. Anything you want to discuss about the game, please get in touch. Uh, I'll try and answer them all. I'll try and get it as many clips as I can on, uh, and again, everything you see with Snooker Pro Tips is 100%, no cutting, no clipping, no editing, everything's done 100%. For Snooker Pro Tips, thank you.